interview a couple minutes ago. Yeah. My mic was not working apparently. Hey, but, the second time's mm -hmm. always better. But we're back. Leftovers. You can you can go to McGrath's Tavern. Make sure to bring some home because it's just as good the next day. Right? Yes, it is. Uh, we're talking with Seamus McGrath, and with a name like Seamus McGrath, you would probably assume you run an Irish pub. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it is one of the up and coming. I shouldn't say up and coming because you guys have been established now for. Well, we're still up and coming. For, There's still some people out there that haven't come in and tried us yet, and uh, we'd love to see them come in. But on top of that, we we do have a lot of repeat customers. Once they come in and try the food, yeah, they always come back. And for me, it's the food, but it's also just the atmosphere. You guys have such a great space and it's so comfortable. Uh, for someone who's never been to McGrath's before, first let's establish you. Where are you? Uh, we're right in, uh, right toward the edge of uh, North Conway, right before you get to Bartlett, um, right before the Scenic Vista, across the street from Adventure Suites. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I think it's a little over a mile past the hospital. Right. One of the things uh, you know we talk about sometimes is when you're driving through North Conway, if you don't know where you're going to eat, usually sometimes you'll start driving around North Conway, you'll go up and down the strip, and then there's this m mile or two section of Route 16 north of the village that's like restaurant you know, haven. You've got all yes. these great restaurants going up, and then you're like on the northern tip of that. Yes. You are just before the scenic vista, so make sure you save yourself to McGrath's, because yes. if you don't have McGrath's while you're on February vacation, you're going to be disappointed that you didn't get to try it. Or you can hit us first on the way back from the mountains. There you go. You know? Pretty convenient to all the mountains. Yes. Wildcat, yeah. Adatash, Cranmore. Exactly. Okay, so Irish Pub, what do you guys, how, how would you describe your food? Um, New England comfort food. Um, you know, our pot roast is our number one seller. Uh, that is comfort food galore. Mm. Great on a week like today when you're out skiing, you want to come in have a nice meal, you know, start with a French onion soup, mm. then move right on to the pot roast. Now you're talking my language. Yes, uh, and soup. finish it up with a nice brownie sundae or something like that. Mm. So well, what do we wash it down with? Uh, Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> or any of our great beers on tap. Uh, we have uh, nine beers on tap. Four of them are local. Uh, we have uh, Moat, two Tuckermans, uh, another Smutty Nose, so uh, another New Hampshire beer there. Um, yeah, but uh, you can't really go wrong with uh, anything we have to drink there. Uh, Irish pub, but also great for the kids. You guys have a full dining room and kids menu. Correct. Kids love it there. Yep. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, we have kids burger, kids uh, pasta with butter, kids pasta with sauce, um, you know, mac and cheese, kids fingers. All, all the, the favorites. Uh, I've gone there, I've gone to McGrath several times for just a, just a nightcap, looking yep. for a place to hang out with my wife and some friends. I love it because, it, first of all, it's beautiful. The stonework and the woodwork in there is absolutely amazing. Yes. Uh, but it's got that, it's, it's spacious. It has that perfect combination feel of like kind of cozy pub, but it also has like a slight cosmopolitan feel to it. It's just, it's comfortable and nice. Yeah, I always uh, refer to the bar as like, like Cheers, because it yeah. has the high windows, you feel yep. like you're in the basement and it's all brick, so yep. it looks really cool. In and there. it's spacious too, you, you don't you never really feel like you know, you're shoulder to shoulder yeah, with someone. Yeah, you're not cramped in there. Um, which, is, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, you guys have live entertainment going yes. on this week? Uh, every Thursday night we have live entertainment, and then in January, February, and March we do uh, Saturday night as well. Mm. Um, so tonight we have the Copper Penny Floor Gang. They just sound fun. It is. Um, it's actually it's uh, Swamp Dog from Shine It On uh, and a stand-up bass player. His drummer might be joining him tonight, um, and they do like a bluegrassy rock type stuff. Nice. It's probably one of the best new artists in town. He's really starting to blow up. That's awesome. Yep. And then uh, this Thursday we have uh, Now Is Now, which is uh, always a, a, a local favorite. Fantastic. So get there. What time does the music start? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock at McGrath's Tavern. Um, if you're in town, you've got your Olympic fever going on, and you want to stop somewhere and get it, get updated or watch some events, great place to do it. Oh, yeah. We have five TVs. The Olympics have been on all week. We have our Olympic flag outside, just like you have up there. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we... Uh, I love the Olympics, but I really, really love the Winter Olympics. Mm. And uh, I think it's just, you know, living up here, you know, especially, you know, you have so much, uh, so many winter sports around you. Yeah. Um, it gears you up. I know every week, uh, every year when, uh, or every four years when the Winter Olympics are on, Meisters seems to get a little bit, you know, more competitive because everybody's seeing it on TV. Everybody's and, going for the gold. Yeah, I had a good run this past week. <laughs> I, I'm guessing this is going to be a good vacation week based on the fact that everybody has great snow. It's even yeah. snowed in Massachusetts, so they're seeing the snow. And then the Winter Olympics are built-in advertisement. Oh, yeah. So. Everybody wants to go out there and be uh, 
you know, be the Olympic skier, um, you know, the cross country one. So. Be Bodie Miller, the rebel, the, <laughs> the rebel on skis. Uh, but speaking of um, the Olympics, uh, two of our hometown heroes, I believe, are going to be competing this weekend. In fact, um, Leanne Smith, who grew up in Conway, uh, skied here for Cranmore, skied in the Mount Washington Valley ski team. She it, she may either have just finished or is like in the gate right now for the Super G. Yeah, they're so, nine hours off. So yeah, so she is uh, she, she's supposed to be competing today. I can't wait to see how she did. She had yeah. a rough go of it the first couple of events. Didn't make one of them. Also was battling a sinus infection. But hey, she's from Conway. She's in the Olympics. Got to root for the hometown hero. And supposedly there's even an opportunity for her. Some say she could win a medal in this yes. event. I think this is her event. So, um, and then also uh, local biathlete. Um, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Sean Doherty, Sean thank you. I think he's competing tomorrow. He's just getting into Sochi, and he's yep. going to probably compete in the biathlon uh, relay. So Yes. Hopefully, I don't think uh, the U.S. has ever won a medal in biathlon. I could be wrong about that. but That might be a watch and win question. Imagine if they win their, they win their first medal, and it's a local athlete who, who propels them to that. Huge. That would be huge. Uh, so great things going on. What, if you're going to stop at McGrath's today, what's... What's your recommendation? What's your favorite thing on the menu item? Ooh, uh, you know, my favorite is the port penne pasta. Hmm. It's out of this world. It's, uh, it's got a little bit of kick. It's almost like an adult mac and cheese. Yeah. Um, you can add chicken or shrimp to it. So, uh, and if you don't want that, you can have it as is. It's a vegetarian dish. Nice. Um, just out of this world. Um, it's one of those few things that uh, people come in and they go, what's that? And then they try it and they're hooked. Do you have that on your menu as adult mac and cheese? No, it's the port, port penne <laughs> pasta. And um, it, it's, uh, it's nice, rich, cheesy. Uh, it has undertones of port wine. So uh, it's, it's a really good dish. But if someone goes in and says, I'll have the adult mac and cheese, you'll know we'll what they're talking yeah. about. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much. Anything else that we missed? Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, uh, come on in. Uh, it's it's vacation week, so yeah, it's gonna be a nice busy one. We've got tons of snow. Get full, get happy, listen to some music, watch the Olympics. Exactly. At McGrath's Tavern. Awesome. Thank you, Seamus. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Jim. Sitting out, he didn't want to come on. He was too shy, but we all know Jim McGrath is a big part of this as well. Yeah, you'll see him at the door right next to me. Family affair at McGrath's Tavern. Okay, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, more weather, more ski, more watching.